I first came across the Saluda company um, probably around 2014 or so, uh, when I was uh, first introduced to uh, John Parker by uh, Professor Michael Cousins. And I was, I was really blown away by the fact that uh, John was taking uh, an agnostic view as to how could this therapy be improved uh, with Blue Sky being the limit on what he wanted to achieve. So he wasn't coming with a Me Too product or an incremental product. He was really looking at complete field optimization, And that really resonated with me as a, as a physician. The reason this study is intriguing and um, interesting for further evaluation is because it's the first study that actually looks at the individual's own physiology and uses that information that is recorded to then control the output of the device, thereby allowing patients to have more smooth stimulation without the excessive uh, overstimulation that occurs with many normal daily activities such as breathing, coughing, laughing. All of these things usually cause significant um, disturbances in the patient's therapy. Looking out to two years, we found that almost 90% of patients responded, meaning they had 50% or more reduction in pain. And there was almost 70% of patients that were classed as high responders, meaning they had over an 80% reduction in pain. And obviously, patient outcomes is, is number one. But the thing is, uh, as a practitioner, and someone who's quite passionate about neuromodulation, the thing that I really love is that we're not just uh, delivering a therapy at the spinal cord, but we're reading uh, what we're giving. Uh, 24 months, a responder rate of, about, of almost 90%, amazingly better than the 12-month data. Uh, also, higher responder rates, close to 70%. That's greater than 80% pain relief. All this at 24 months and no explants because of failure. Well, I encourage you to read this study and digest the literature of the study and the evidence seen here. And I wanna thank my Australian colleagues for doing such a great job.